Would you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock Infinite? This is Jewel Smith, and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. I am in the Hall of Heroes. Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. And too rare is the man who takes the stand in your God and sweetest fatherland. But here is the place where we revere with the heroes of our city. Kingpin Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Oh, dang. Elizabeth, I swear to God. Can you please get out of my way? You see, Booker, maybe you're the man I remember. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. Comstock took our stories and scrubbed away our soul. Now, he's coming for me. And when I'm gone, all that will be left is the lie. Just give us what we came for! Can I search this guy? Can I search his cash register? Medical kits, okay. Salts, I don't think I need any salts. There's a kinetoscope. A city mourns. Let's take a look. These are giving us some backstory. Lady Comstock's tomb opens for public viewing in Emporia. Columbia shall never forget your sacrifice, dear lady. <laughs> Booker, there was a locked door in the gift shop. I think I can open it. You think so, huh? Okay. Well, this is the gift shop, so where's the locked door, Elizabeth? Alright, we've recently figured out that Elizabeth can open these tears in reality and bring through useful things like that right there. Alright, uh, is this the locked... Oh! There's a trail of blood. Okay. Can you unlock this? Let me see. There you go. Thanks. Salts are full. All right. All right, now he dropped. Oh, well, now he's a lockbox. He dropped this crank gun. This is a new weapon. I'm not sure I want to take it though, because I can only carry two weapons at a time. And I like having my machine gun. And the RPG seems to be effective enough against... What is these footprints here? Are these my footprints? They look like they're going in that direction. Were they here when we came in? What these footprints are supposed to be. Alright. I found some money. Want it? Sure, thanks. Appreciate it. Looks like
like a whole bunch of figures. Oh, it's the shock jockey. That's what we've been looking for. The whole for. place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. What? So how are we going to get them? Requires five picks. I have seven. Help me out with this lock. Looks easy enough. Go for it, Elizabeth. Got yeah, it. she picks locks. As long as I have lock picks to give her. And she occasionally will find ammunition or weapons to chuck at me in addition to coins. Right, so we got some silver eagles. Okay. Uh, maybe that's what that is. Those purple footprints are uh, from the shock jockey vigor. Oh, now the door is open. It wasn't open before. Late, huh? What does that subdue? What does that mean? Those weren't here before. Oh, he's this way, okay. Slate, why you gotta be so difficult, dude? One would think that you would just help me out here. What is that? Comstock ships. He's coming for Slate. It was Slate who killed for his country at Wounded Knee! It was Slate who stormed the gates at Peking! Slate! Slate! Comstock's coming, Booker! But our lives won't satisfy him. Oh no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Another shooting gallery. Is this turret still friendly to me? It's so odd that like sometimes when I enchant a turret, it only lasts for like a few seconds and then sometimes it's like that forever. do murder of crows maybe the target is immune to murder of crows really Major malfunction. Oh, uh, 
Let's try bucking Bronco. Why not? Find a lockpick on the dude? Cool. Let's see, maybe we should try uh well I don't know, the bucking bronco was kinda useful in that big group of dudes. But maybe Is that all you can muster, soldier? No, that's not all I can muster. Come on now, DeWitt! Don't disappoint the boys! Rejoice, for death has no sting. Here come some more dudes, huh? This belongs to the Lord. Move in on him. Fucking Bronco works on this guy. Nope. All right, let's switch back to the machine gun. Oh, he's got the crank gun, huh? around see what's what here oh we can go in here now that's new medical kits yeah I don't think I need them I think I'm good I think I'm good on health Is there a dollar bill in here so I could buy some ammo? I don't think there is. No. All right. What's this got? Uh, no, I don't have to buy that yet. Okay. Well, there's this guy. But I don't think he, yeah, he just has the clip increase. I don't care about that. Oh. Thanks, Elizabeth. But could you find me some machine gun ammo? That would actually be more helpful. Okay, so we can go that way, or we can go that way. Which way do we need to go? Let's go this way and see what we find. A lot of shotguns. I'm really not wanting a shotgun, thank you. I'm wanting machine gun ammo. My men and I are doomed. Doomed as noble Custer was at Little Bighorn. But we shall not yield to Comstock and his tin soldiers. But my scout has seen him. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. DeWitt. We called him we the gotta White get 
to Slate before he makes off with the shock jockey. Dude, I'm trying to listen to this. A man such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. Yeah, okay, there's an infusion hiding right in there. Let's pick that up. What do we want to go with? More salts, more health. I like having a shield. I'm just gonna keep going with that. Feel better already. Um. All right. Sorry. Let me go see what he was trying to say. There it is. Uh, my men and I are doomed. Doom is noble. Custer was at Little Bighorn, but we shall not yield to Comstock and his tin soldiers. But my scout has seen him. Booker Dewitt is coming here to the hall. Dewitt. All right. This is the part that I couldn't hear because then Booker started talking. We called him the White Engine of Wounded Knee. For all the grisly trophies he claimed, a man such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. All right, so apparently Booker was a badass killer. Uh, uh, all right. A, a vicious, vicious killer. I guess we're gonna go this way then. Sure hope we run into some machine gun ammo. Oh, well, there's a carbine. Do I feel like taking the carbine? Yeah, maybe I do. Alright. See what we can do with this. What's this way? Yeah, okay, this is blocked off probably until we do something over here. And then we'll be able to go that way to get out or something. Gonna have to fight Slate, huh? Uh, what can we do here? my shield? Yeah, I, I, I imagine we need to avoid that. That makes sense. Pick up the machine gun. Oh boy. Oh, what was that? Catch coin. Okay. Yeah. How about you just keep all them coins in your pocket and stop trying to toss them to me when I'm in the middle of fighting and whatnot. <laughs> Alright, sure. We'll pick up the machine gun. What the hell. This, uh, is this a machine gun? Can I pick this one up? Doesn't have ammo in it, huh? Okay. Oh, that one had ammo. You're gonna be saddled with someone as a companion or an escort mission or whatever they really need to like stay out of your way and 
it's kind of getting on my last nerve the way that she's constantly bumping into me and walking in front of me and interrupting me and talking over me. Oh, right. I remember this. We came through here in the last episode, but we couldn't get through this door. I think it was blocked off by some iron bars or something. Oh, what's this? Is that slate? Get shock jockey. You're not done here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it! Um, I don't I don't want to finish you off, You're Slate. A tin man now! A tin man! Slate! I just want the damn shock jockey. I'm not gonna help you commit suicide. Press to shoot a bolt of electricity. There we go. Hold and release to create a electro bolt. Trap. All right, press L2. Oh, trophy earned. Shock tactics. I got a trophy. Just press L2 to shock an enemy in front of you. Hold and release L2 to create shocking traps. These traps connect to form networks of damaging electricity. I think we saw some of those back in the hallway. You spare me. It wasn't the first. Comstock's men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? I'm killing. Faster than you can imagine. Oh, is this the way out? Well, what's this way then? Oh, that's the way we came in before when we came through this, uh... Yeah, okay, I remember that. We don't need to go back that way. Let's get the heck out of here. I think we need to get out. Return to Soldier's Field and power up the gondola. Yep, let's get out of here. My health is full. Excellent. Oh, let's grab that. Sure. How do we get out of here? Where's the, what's the way out? This way. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go out the back the way we came in. Can I go this way? No, can't go that way? Huh, okay. Yeah, I guess we gotta go this way. Alright, maybe I was supposed to go back out that way. Getting all turned around a bit because there's no map in this game. At least none that I know of. Are we gonna run into Comstock's dudes now on the way back out? Gonna backtrack through all of this nonsense. <laughs> yep. You know, those vigors seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you soft in salts. Thanks. And if I want to switch back to the carbine, I can do that. No, I think I'm good with my machine gun. I like my machine gun. Well, the carbine's not bad. I think I was saying in the last episode that uh, it, it's either or for me. I can go with the carbine or the machine gun. Now 
Oh, okay. Now we're back out here. What are you doing? you have to do what's necessary to survive. And there's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in your life. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sword. That said, the less you know about me, the better. Alright, health is full. Uh, carbine ammo, now that's fine. Uh, let's go for some more machine gun ammo. Heck yeah. Full up. And full up on RPG ammo. That sounds great. All right. Wonderful. Take this. Thank you. So she's really good at finding things, apparently. I can respect that. I'm that way too in real life. <laughs> it's kind of a running joke with my family that anytime something is lost or missing, just ask me, and I can like just get up and walk right for it. It's my superpower. I'm not even joking either. I'm, I'm dead serious. There's been times where I've found things that I should have had no way of knowing where they were. And it's just, it comes over me. Like somebody will say, hey, I'm looking for, you know, blah, blah, whatever. And I'll just, I'll just know where it is. It's weird. And I'll get up and I'll walk over and I'll find it. Uh, what have we got? No, I still don't want that. That's fine. I mean, I've even done it for not just for my family, but for other people, like uh, like coworkers and stuff. I once had a coworker that lost something really important. He uh, he had some notes. I'm just looking around in here. I think I've picked up everything I can pick up because I don't want to swap to the shotgun. That's fine. Um, he had some notes from a project that uh, was really important for our job, and uh, he couldn't find his notes. And I got up from my desk, and he was like really worried, really worried. He was like, "Oh my God, I can't find my notes from this." And I got up from my desk. He sat right across from me. And uh, and I went and I put on my coat and I walked outside and I walked across the street. And I walked over to uh, to another office, which I had asked him, you know, he, he said, oh, I looked all over. I looked in the, you know, last place I had him was such and such, you know, in this office, that office, whatever, um, you know, but I looked there and I can't find him. So I got up, I put on my coat. This is literally how it happened. I just got up, put on my coat, walked across the street to the other office, walked into the office, turned left, walked around the corner to like the coat closet, and there was a shelf. There was a bunch of shelves and obviously, you know, coats hanging up and stuff in there, like a broom closet or whatever it was, but there was a shelf. And uh, like, like that shelf right there. See those shelves? And I turned, and I and his notes were on the shelf. And I picked him up, and I walked back over to our office, went up to his desk, and just laid the notes on his desk. And he was like, I mean, literally the whole thing took like two minutes. And he just looked at me like, holy sh shit, you know? And he goes, where were they? And I told him, and he was like, I found a lockpick. Hey, thanks, Elizabeth. Oh, and it looks like a glowing, little bit of glowing salts there, but I don't need them. Um, I can't seem to, well, maybe it's just the, the trick of the light. Okay, no. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he was just like, how did you do that? And I said, I don't know, dude, it's what I do, right? It's just this thing I do. And he was just like, so totally freaked out by that. But he was like, wow, thanks, you know? And I mean, but yeah, no, I do that kind of stuff a lot. Or like, I'll hand something to somebody even though they didn't ask for it. I'll be like, oh, here. And they'll be like, why are you giving me that? And I said, I don't know. And they'll go, but this is what I was looking for. And I'll be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, 
it's, it's weird, it, I'm honestly. And I'm saying that I'm the one who does it. And I don't even know how it works. And I don't know why I do it or how I do it. And it's not like... It's not... I don't know. It's like it's not like it's a psychic power that people have heard of before or something. It's not like I can go, oh, I'm clairvoyant or oh, I'm psychic or something. Like, that's not what it... Well, I mean, I guess it is sort of like being psychic. But it's a very specific psychic. I'm not psychic about, like, the lottery numbers or, you know... A lot of things, you know, I just... It's, just, it's that particular thing. I can find things or hand things to people when they need them. Without the masking. Or, or you know, or find stuff like my coworker's notes. It's the weirdest thing. Honest to God, I'm not... It is just the weirdest thing ever. I admit, I freely admit that. I don't know why I can do it. I don't know how it happens. It doesn't always happen. But I will say probably 100%. 99.9% .9 of the times people have asked me to find something that's lost, I can find it in my life. It's it's the weirdest thing. Even in people's houses I've never been in before. Um, stuff like that. And then some people will get all funny and they go, well, find me a million dollars. <laughs> but like, that's not how it works because you didn't lose a million dollars. It's got to be something that you lost or it doesn't work. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not even making that up. It's, it's totally a thing in my life. It's been that way. All my life. It's really bizarre. Alright, so I suppose I'm supposed to like zap this thing. Alright, there we go. And now it's gonna play Christmas music. Okay. Anyway, enough about me. We're playing Bioshock Infinite. But yeah, I know, like Elizabeth's power or whatever you want to call it, her uh you know, not her ability to tear open space-time continuum or whatever, the fabric of space and time, but just her ability to find shit and then be like, oh look, I found some coins. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe it is kind of like her space-time thing. The ability to say, hey, I need this, and then suddenly it's just right there. Alright, leaving the Hall of Heroes. Yes, I think we're done here. Let's get out of here. And we're gonna go back to... Main Street, I guess, because we got to get aboard that Lady Comstock Aerodrome airship, whatever the heck. That's what we, that's why we were doing all of this. We got to zap up the gondola mosquito. What in the world is a mosquito? Do it. I... Sure, why the hell not? We can't lose. We can't lose. What the hell, Elizabeth? Why you gotta run right in my way, girl? Do you see me right here shooting people? Did we already look at this kinetoscope? Oh yeah, I think we did. Who's firing at me? This guy... This guy... Oh, I think she can only open one tear at a time, so if I have her... Elizabeth! If I have her open this one so I can grab this sniper rifle, then the other one will close, I think. I think. I could be wrong. Machine gun ammo, that's fine. I'll take that health kit. Uh, let's see. No, nope, I'm full up on that. Alright, we're good, we're good. Well, it's a good thing I can't accidentally kill her, because man, she runs right in front of me an awful lot. <laughs> Get a little tired of that. 
But I guess I can just, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I shoot her. I'm just going to shoot where I need to shoot. And if she gets in the way, that's her problem. Do I need to power this up? Do I have to power them all up? Alright, let's check it out. Maybe we'll find another pair of pants. Or another infusion. Yep, there's a health kit. There's some silver eagles. More money. Here you go. Thanks, darling. Got it. Oh, and more lockpicks. And, yep. Ah, not a pair of pants. Some new boots. Vampires embrace. Melee kills give health. Uh, what boots do I have on right now? Fit as a fiddle. When revived, recover full health. Well, I haven't died in a while. Knock on wood. Uh... But I don't know if I need to put these on because I don't really do melee kills either. So we'll just take them for now. Hmm. This is a great view. That's where we need to go. Way over there. To that aerodrome. And get on board. Nothing in there. All right. I like this uh, shock jockey. It's called Electro Bolt in the previous Bioshock games, but I like it. Oh boy. Oh. Sardines. Is that a code book or anything? No, can't pick that up. Hold to pick up sniper rifle. No, I'm good. Okay. I don't think I need a sniper or anybody from here. Anything back there? Right, back down. Interesting. Uh, I seem to remember there were a few of these in other places uh, that we've come across recently. Now that I have Shock Jockey, I could power them up. I wonder if I should go back inside. Is there anything inside that I could power up? Get into some. New areas, unlock some things, maybe? I don't know. Is there anything else? Do we want to go back inside and check around? I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I don't want to go back. I don't, I don't want to backtrack. Let's get where we need to go. I might be missing out on some sweet, sweet loot, but that's fine. Soldier's Field and power up the gondola. Oh, we have to ride the uh, ride the sky hook back down, huh? 
Oh, RPG ammo full, okay. We can't take the gondola here. Alright, well. Here we go. to shoot at him, but I think he's gonna shoot for me, or he's gonna fight for me. Oh, uh, fog of war. Fog of war. I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, uh... Dropped into the middle of all this. Don't know what's going on. Um, let's try possession. He's talking to me. Sounds like they're very close. Ooh, there's another tear up there. What's that tear up there gonna do? All I had on them was a candy bar, huh? Now, now. On it. What's over here? Ooh, you can see kind of the floaty part underneath. That's cool. Maybe I was supposed to go up here so that I could jump back on the uh, the skyline from up here. I want to go loot that boat though. I need some machine gun ammo. Can I get up there? Oh, it looks like I can't. What's back here? Anything? A wallet? Okay, I'll take that. Let's see, what else? Anything? Can I get up there to loot it? No, I want to just down here. I want to search the lockbox. else that might be here. Anything? Anything good? Nope, that's it. Oh, the motorized Patriot is back. Okay. Alright, so now where do I need to go? We need to get back down to Soldier's Field and over to the Aerodrome. So I think we need to go this way, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> been here before. Oh boy. They don't know we're here yet. Alright. 
Let's see, what can we do? What what would be a good a good uh vigor for this? I guess possession. I'm getting low on ammo though. Isn't there a dollar bill? I think there's a dollar bill around the corner or around the side of the restaurant, maybe. I think there is. Oh, it's saving. All right, you guys, I think I'm getting close to uh, the 45 minute mark here. So I am just gonna go ahead since it just saved. Seems like a good time to say thanks so much for hanging out with me. Please leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends if you're enjoying yourself. Then please join me for the next exciting adventure of Bioshock Infinite. Take care of yourselves till then.